that, Leanne has enjoyed, sweetheart. How funny is that? That is really funny. I you look haven't so young. changed one bit, am I not? Oh my goodness. No, I'm looking at that going, God, I look young on there. Really? I don't often um, get cast as, as people that have got a bit of a dark side, and she has, so it's yeah, it's very, very challenging. And because as well, she she wears very interesting clothes. She's sort yes. of a bit of a feisty <laughs> character as well. That all kind of lends itself, I guess, to being quite an exciting part for you to take on. Absolutely, yeah. The wardrobe that she has is ridiculous. She has this huge mane of hair, like loads of diamonds. Um, she's just brilliant to play and, again, very vibrant. I've had great fun with the costume costume team on this. I bet you have. Now, you say there's this modern sort of contemporary yes. take on it. So how, how are they going to play at this time? Because obviously, as the audience, we, we know Romeo and Juliet, yeah. don't we? So to have a different slant on it is always quite intriguing, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's set in Leeds. Um, it's set now, modern day. Um, there are Tess and, and Dan that play Romeo and Juliet. They are playing 16 and 17, so just slightly older than the original. I'm playing my own age, so I'm playing like mid 30s. Um, and then we, a lot of it is set around um, a boxing gym, Capulet's boxing gym, which is really interesting. And we've kind of got Tibble and Paris as fighters, as boxers. So it's a really cool kind of way of doing it. Amy, our director, she's absolutely incredible. Her vision, along with Haley, the designer, have just been just amazing. I mean, there's this huge space themed party with lots of incredible characters in there. An amazing soundtrack as well. Amy's picked out some fabulous music to underscore. We opened the whole show with like a Paolo Nettini song. It's it's really modern, really vibrant, really fresh. You can almost imagine it. Um, well, it takes place in the heat of summer, uh, like a festival. So it's got that kind of very young, youthful vibe. Right. And of course, at the Playhouse in Leeds, as you yes. say, a theatre that you grew up with. Yeah. And it's near your home and everything else. So it just all sort of seems to fit it's in perfectly. Doesn't honestly, it? it's you can amazing. Go home at time. Oh, it's just amazing. Like when the job came up and I. Was was like what January to the end of March in Leeds absolutely and a Shakespeare I was like what's not to like about this and a different kind of character as well it's just been yeah absolutely amazing like I can get home I can see Fred I can get up with him in the morning and be like you know mum's off to work but it's for a chunk of time yeah. so as opposed to something that's really really long running I can have time doing what I love and then time out as well to you know do my mummy duties so your mum and Freddie's what, about five nearly five, five. Oh um, so we mentioned Emmerdale earlier yes I mean we can't not ask you about it really because no. everyone loved Alicia her character was so brilliant she's clearly gone off to Portugal yes <laughs> so it's not like you know something terrible's happened to her she is there which means she could also come back she is there <laughs> yeah absolutely I mean I love I love Alicia and I loved playing her she was so much a huge part of my life and you know she was just again another great fun character to play I was so lucky with storylines there was something about it though, the second that you started and I remember when you first started an Emmerdale you hooked us in straight away like oh. we got you straight away the character it just felt like it was always had always been there oh, so to come you. back again I think it's going to be a very natural thing if it were to happen I mean yeah if that were to happen down the line at the moment you know I'm really happy with where I'm at and obviously and I want to learn more as well I want to learn more about acting and bring something different if that was to ever happen in the future I'd like to come back with a bit more experience a bit more of a, a wealth of knowledge of different characters so that she wouldn't necessarily always be the same person mm. um, but at the moment I'm kind of very happy doing what I'm doing right now yeah. But who knows in the future? You never know. You never know. Exactly. Well, look, Romeo and Juliet, West Yorkshire Playhouse in Leeds from the 3rd of March until the 25th of yes. March. So, yes, not long <laughs> off then. It's going to be... I know. Yeah, well, we've, we've had two previews already, which have been amazing. And then our press night is on Wednesday. So that's very exciting. Properly kicking off. Oh, yeah. so lovely to see you. Thank you. Honestly, Thank you so much for having me. Thank you very much, Natalie. Honestly, good luck with it all. Yes, break a leg, as I should say.